Hello guys and uh, welcome to my first ever video tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the Tails operating system. What it is, how to get it and how to install and use it. Ok, so what is Tails? Tails is an operating system built with extreme privacy in mind. It utilizes the Tor Onion booting technology, it hides your identity, it gives you access to the deep web, it bypasses censorship and a whole heap of other really cool things. And it's free. Right, so what are we going to need to run this? Firstly, we're going to need two USB pen drives. Around 4 gig will be fine. You're probably thinking why too? The Tails operating system is designed to be run as a live system and the full version of Tails can only be installed from another system running Tails. And we don't have it so we need to get it without knowing somebody already using it. That is why we need two pen drives. We firstly install intermediary Tails onto pen drive 1. Then we boot up into intermediary tails and use it to install full tails onto pen drive 2. Now, after this procedure, we can reformat pen drive 1, use it again for whatever we want. Right, so let's get to it. The first thing you're going to need to do is check out the links in my video description and download the files. You're going to need a torrent client to download the tails ISO file. I use BitComet, so I've linked that into the description, but if you already use one, just skip that and download the Tails ISO using whatever you use. Right, follow the Tails link and pick your operating system to download the correct intermediary Tails ISO image torrent client as required, as I said earlier. Um, get a copy of the Universal USB installer too. Um, if you haven't already done so, go away, get all those files, put them together, and I'll pause the video and come back. Right, so we've got all those files, and we know where they all are. What the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to run the Universal USB installer. That's going to pop up a window, something like that. We're going to click Agree. Now in the top box we're going to want to pick Tails. It is close to the bottom. There we go. In the middle one we're going to want to point that to the ISO image you just downloaded. Tails ISO. Now in the bottom one we're going to want to pick our pen drive one. If you haven't already got it plugged in, plug it in, pick your pen drive. We're also going to want to pick Format. Then we're going to want to click create. Now that's just telling you we're going to do this, this, this and this to make your live boot disk. We're going to click yes. And depending on the speed of your system, you're probably looking at between 5 and 15 minutes. And you should have an intermediary tails live boot disk. So we're going to let that run through. nearly completed for me now and the next section I am going to have to do from inside Tails itself and I can't use my screen capture software to do that so I'm going to jump format shoot a quick video on my phone for you and uh, yeah I'll join you there hi guys welcome back for part two of our Tails installation Right, so I'm going to use a laptop for this one, but you can use a desktop, it doesn't really matter. We're going to want to power down the device and plug in both USB sticks. So I've got our Tails Intermediary USB stick and a blank 4 gig, well 32 gig in my example, ready for the full installation of Tails. What you're going to want to do is you want to call for boot options as soon as you turn the computer on. You'll have probably seen a message displayed on screen telling you which key this is for your system. As you'll see, mine's F10. So. Okay, so we're going to want to pick the USB stick that we just put into media details on. So I know for me that was my 64 gig USB stick, not the smaller Kingston Data Traveler. 
one in there. We go. Tails. Okay, we're just going to let that boot up. Okay, so once that's finished booting up, you're going to be left with a page like this. Welcome to Tails. You just want to look at, log on. Yeah, sorry for the sketchy video, guys. You can't really screen capture this process. <laughs> Okay, that's just about loading in. You can see you're left with a rather basic looking but powerful operating system. And you're going to want to come up to the top left and you see applications. Click that, you go to drop down menu. From there, we're going to want system tools. And you'll see there, second from the bottom, Tails Installer. Go ahead and click on that. And you're going to want to pick Install by Cloning, top option. Okay, Tails is already picked up, but the, the free memory stick is in there, and it's the Kingston Data Traveler. If not, you might want to click this drop-down menu if you don't see anything that looks like your blank memory stick. And then we're going to want to click Install Tails. Please confirm your device selection. And there we go. I'm going to let that run for a while and come back. Okay, it's been running for a couple of minutes now. As you can see, it's coming up to about halfway. And that really is as hard as it gets. All we need to do once this process is finished is repeat the process the same as we did to boot up to this intermediary tails to start with. But instead we're going to boot from the new full tails installation. Okay, I left that running for you guys so you could see what uh, installation looks like that was successful. If you do get any error messages popping up there, don't panic, just rerun the procedure. Um, but yeah, we're going to restart the system now and get it booted up into full system of tails. Okay guys, we're back at the boot screen now. We've finished installing our full version of uh, Tails onto a different USB stick and we're going to boot from that USB stick. And we're going to let that boot and I'll be back with you. And there you go. We've booted up now. We would just click log in and you can start using all the cool features that Tails got built in. Now I don't expect this to work like your standard Windows operating system. Lots of things are blocked out, mainly for your safety. Um, it does clone your IP address and, well, it masks it, it changes it completely, it makes you look like you're coming from a different country, so things like logging into social networks will spark off events. Um, but yeah, everything's uncensored, you, you can get on sites that normally are blocked, you can search the deep web, uh, knowing that you're pretty secure, uh, your IP address is essentially fake, um, and yeah, whatever you want to do with it, that's down to you. Have fun.